السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته يا سيستر سميره جزاك الله خيرا فور كولينج باك كويشن Um, my name is uh, Sarah, and I'm calling from Winnipeg, Canada. Okay, Sarah. I just have a quick question for you, Sheikh. Okay, go ahead, Sister Sarah. Go ahead. Um, uh, if, if just in Afghanistan, what the uh, people does is um, when somebody is dead, uh, because not everybody is able to um, read Quran, uh, so they bring um, a few people who are able to uh, read Quran, and uh, they. finish the Quran in like one hour or two and then they give uh, some money to that people as a reward. I don't know if this is allowed in Islam. Is that something right that they do or not? Um, our sister is, is asking about Khatm al-Quran for the deceased, um, which is something that is uh, Uh, being practiced uh, not just by the Afghani, uh, by a lot of uh, Muslims, as a matter of fact. And uh, all of this has no basis in the religion. Uh, we, it's a bid'ah. The bottom line, it is a bid'ah. A bid'ah is an innovation. Um, of course, when we say this, uh, Sister Sarah, uh, then the argument comes right away. Come on, you don't want us to read the Quran? <laughs> I didn't say that. Read the Quran, but not in that fashion. Uh, the Prophet's son died, his daughter died, uh, I'm sorry, uh, two, two of his daughters died, uh, his uh, wife Khadija died, his uncle Hamza died, um, uh, his cousin Jafar died in his life. Uh, we heard that he had Khatm uh, al-Quran for them. Um, so. Uh, it's a made up, uh, a hearsay practice uh, that I know uh, saying this hurt a lot of people. But I love you for the sake of Allah and my job is to deliver. Uh, you see, uh, uh, people who, yeah, people who, uh, who sit in my chair, ya ikhwa, is not there to, in the business of making you happy and making everybody happy. Uh, the, uh, we follow, ya ikhwa. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we follow. Our religion is about adherence, about following. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, sister Sarah, he said, "Man amila amal laysa alaihi amruna fahuwa rad." Whosoever does an act which I did not sanction, which I did not prescribe, uh, it will be rejected. So here, here they go. They go ahead and spend money. They go ahead and, 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 and make food and all of this, and at the end of the day, it will be rejected. It's not going to benefit the deceased. If you really want to benefit the deceased, make dua for the deceased by yourself. Uh, give a sadaqah. You see all that money that they pay for food and for the people to come and recite the Quran? Take that sum of money and give it as a sadaqah. Sadaqah jariah for the deceased. All right? Uh, find a, a little booklet uh, that teaches the deen and, and print it. and spread it amongst non-Muslims to teach them about Islam. Uh, go and perform Umrah for the deceased, provided that uh, you, know, you made Umrah and Hajj for yourself. Go perform Hajj for the deceased. Uh, you see, if you really care about the deceased, but if you think about it at the end of the day, uh, it's just societal norms, and people are trying to uh, accommodate it, and because they inherited it. Uh, and this is what we call Sister Sara, Sunnatul Aba, the way of our ancestors. And I want to remind my brothers and sisters in Islam that this is one of the tools, one of the instruments Satan plays on the mind of a lot of Muslims. Atuslim wa tadharu deenaka wa deena abika wa abai abik. Hadith Sabr ibn Abi al-Fakih fi Muslim bin Imam Ahmad that you're gonna, be, you're gonna submit to the Sunnah, you're gonna follow the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you're gonna leave the way of your ancestors. Come on, Satan actually, we're talking about Satan. Satan whispers to them. So Satan will, will stand uh, basically and promote the way of their fathers. And read, read the first argument which uh, all the nations have pulled against their prophets and messengers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, tells Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and thus, وَكَذَلِكَ مَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ فِي قَرِيَةٍ مِنْ نَذِيرٍ إِلَّا قَالَ مُتْرَفُوهَا إِنَّا وَجَدْنَا آبَاءَنَا عَلَىٰ أُمَّةٍ وَإِنَّا عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ مُقْتَدُونَ And thus, O Muhammad, no messenger 
we sent before you. But the first thing that uh, his people will tell him, listen, we found our fathers doing this and we're not going to leave the way of our fathers. This is, uh, uh, we have to give it up. We have to give it up for the sake of Allah. And this is the answer to your question, Sister Sarah. Jazakallahu khairan. Thank you very much, Sister Sarah.